Willkommen, bienvenue, and welcome. I am just another Pokey Dad, and if you know where I stole my intro from, you are my kind of geek, and I say geek lovingly. Really do. We're back after the crushing defeat that was Ditto VMAX. Breaks my heart. Breaks my ever loving heart. Really wanted to win with Ditto VMAX. Puts the first L in our loss column, though. In this Tablemon VMAX challenge. Now, Tablemon, the incredible Pablo Meza from Mexico, created the VMAX challenge where you have to build a deck with all 74 VMAXs. There are 77 now and more coming. But you had to build a deck with all 74 and win a game with it. He had to. Now, me, I don't have that kind of stamina, I can't keep up. So I'm playing a maximum of five games with any deck I build. So I'm trying to build unusual or the decks that seem the most uh, conducive to supporting whatever VMAX I'm playing. So not always the right deck, for sure. And if I change it in the middle of it, I change it or whatever. Um, but five games max. If I win one of the games, I get to move on to the next VMAX. But if I lose all five, it goes in the loss column. And the hope is to have more wins than losses at the end of this journey. We are currently, I think we're eight and one or, yeah, eight and one. Eight and one or nine and one. I'm not sure. But we're coming off the one, the big L. Ditto VMAX. <laughs> so our next VMAX chosen at random at the end of the last video, was uh, Surfing Pikachu. Surfing Pikachu. Will we put it in the win column, or do we start stacking L's? Let's find out. Here's the deck. Surfing Pikachu VMAX, 310 HP for three water energy max surf for 160 damage, and it also does 30 damage to each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Woo! Woo! Uh, but it's a cute Pikachu on a surfboard! So at least we get that. So we have four copies of Surfing Pikachu V, 200 HP, for the same three water energy, 150 damage. But we have to take the knockouts with the VMAX. We're going to run the Intelli online. Um, I don't know why I only have three Sobbles. I'm going to have to get rid of another card because we need four Sobbles. So I don't know where. We'll pull something out as we're doing it. Four Sobbles. We have three Drizziles and three Intellions. One Shady Dealings and two Quick Shootings. Maybe we'll get rid of the Escape Rope. I think that's probably it. Three Evolutionary Incense. No, you know what? I want the Escape Rope, but I'll get rid of one Quick Ball. Because we've got the three Evolutionary Incense. No, not add. Take away. So we'll add the Escape Rope back. But uh, three Evolutionary Incense, four Quick Ball four scoop-up nets, two ultra ball, and then I'm running three different stadiums because why not? So one collapse stadium, so we'll put us at four bench Pokemon, one Dynatree Hill, just as if, if I run happen to run up against a, a healing deck, and one Spike Muth, uh because I didn't want to run Path to the Peak, and this deck could run Path to the Peak. Two bosses orders, two Marnies, three Melanies, three Research, one Raihan, one Air Balloon, one Choice Band, and one Telescopic Sight, and 12 Energy. And 12 Energy is pretty heavy, but the thing is you have to get three Water Energy on Pikachu. So you have to, like, attach every turn. Melanie is the other way, but, like, without running... Frost Moth, and I'm just not. I'm just not. 
too many moving parts already for a deck that gives me hives. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to add in that um, escape rope. Jeez, my keyboard is freaking out here. All right, that is the deck. Let's see it in action. Here we go, game one with surfing Pikachu VMAX. We got the Pikachu coin. Sure, I'll go first. Not knowing what I'm up against, I think I'm going to start with the Sobble Active. One of the... One of the things about the current meta really is, and I see I miss an attachment here, really have nothing for next turn. We're not in a great spot. I mean, other than being able to get out surfing Pikachu VMAX, but with no energy on him, I'm missing, I'm certainly missing the attack on the first turn. And now both those go to the bottom of the deck. There are worse things that could happen. And that's them. Because now we're really, we now we get an attachment and that's it. Because I can quick ball to put something out, but I don't run any draw support. So, I mean, I can quick ball to thin the deck. And, you know, I suppose I'll put out another Sobble just in case we top deck something interesting. But level ball maybe should have been included to have more outs to Drizzile. I thought having uh, the evolutionary incense and but we get marnie again so that ain't the worst thing that could happen at least it's not the best thing that could happen either apparently but we get an attachment we get to evolve and maybe we'll top deck something If I could top deck a oh an out to a Drizzile or a Melanie, one of the two, then I can quick ball away the, the energy, get it attached. So there's some hope there. Should I give him a Sobble or a Sobble? I'll give him a Sobble. How does that sound? So I'm going to put up another Sobble because I've got the scoop up net at least if I were to be able to get out a... But I cannot. So we're going to put another Pikachu into play. And that's it. I mean, we're... <laughs> I feel like we had lots of outs to many things and we're just missing everything. So maybe level balls are necessary in this deck just to have even more outs to the Drizzile. I'm weak to, so 
I mean, we're in another quick ball. So, yeah, this is just... I mean, that's all four quick balls we've managed to do in this short a time. But nothing else. Not a not an incense, not a ultra ball. So maybe we need the maybe we do need the Because he puts him up, which means he's going to knock me out. I because of my weakness, so. I'm just going to play this out, but there's not much point because he's going to get... Oh, wait. Oh, so he doesn't quite get the, the knockout on me. So that's good. We'll just grab a Melanie for next turn. And do one big hit. Trouble is, I don't even hit him for... Uh... But, with the Inteleon... Oh, but he'll knock me out. So I'm not even going to get the Inteleon out. So that's just... Because that's where he, he takes the knockout there. So I need... I need to get the choice belt if I want to take a knockout on him. It's if he leaves him in the active. So he is going to G-Max Rapid Flow. So let's see if there's anything I can do. Not really. Switch out and he takes the win and that's all she wrote and that's understandable, you know. Hmm. Now that's interesting. Huh. Is there any way for me to... I don't know. Is there any way... I don't think there is, but let's just see what happens. We came close. We actually came closer than I anticipated with this deck. In this matchup in particular. Why are you bothering? 
you've already got the knockout right there. Okay. He had the knockout already. So continuing to play doesn't make sense. We'll yeah, jump into can. another game. Surfing Pikachu VMAX. Game number two. We were really close in that first game, I felt like. I felt like there were a couple things go went our way, and maybe we could have stood a chance. So who knows? But I am going to put... Ah, uh, no. I should have put Sobble up first. I know, I know what I've said, and I wanted Sobble to be in my active. I really did. So that was just not the smartest move. Well, he didn't attach, so, well, Magma Basin. Magma Basin. I'm just... I mean, I'd prefer to keep my Sobble since my entire hand is built around it, but I f have a feeling I would... And I could still lose the Pikachu, but not now. Well, Pokemon Catcher. There's always a way. There is always a way. It's like... Uh, Jurassic Park life finds a way. But now I do have water. Should I get Melanie? But I don't think that's going to be happening. Oof. I am going to attach. Let's put our only good thing in this match is they're weak to us, but I I don't know that that's going to matter all that much, really, right? Especially as we just are playing like a donkey. What I want is the Melanie for next turn. So do I scoop up net? Let's just do that. Let's do that. I don't know. That's a roundabout way to do nothing on my turn. So that seemed a little foolish of me. I probably had better moves to be made. Something smarter I could have dropped with the Drizzile and and hoped next turn that I was going to get into something, but at least my opponent is having a slow start here. I've been wanting to play the new Entei V, though, because I like Suicune, so why wouldn't I like Fire Coon with the Magma Basin? I takes the need for a Melanie out of your deck, and then all right, well 
So I think we can get the Melanie play off and at least start doing some damage. And luckily we are not weak to fire because we're a lightning type, even though we're on water. So we'll get the Melanie. Attach for turn. Melanie. Yes, we get draw. Put another Sobble out. And we take a prize. So at least... At least we've got that going for us. And I don't think we're getting knocked out by... I mean, 220, 250. So we may get... We may get, you know, an extra turn here with surfing Pikachu VMAX. I think we're on our way, to be perfectly honest. But only because they are weak to us. So I'm going to take away... take away their stadium there we'll get an attachment I'm not going to worry about that I do want to get another sobble down just to thin a little bit and I think We're in a fairly decent spot. Except for why did what took takes away weakness? Or do I just not hit for weakness? Don't apply weakness and resistance for benched Pokemon. What took away the weakness there? I'm um, Now I'm just thoroughly, thoroughly confused. I'm missing something, obviously. Well, we get the Melanie. We'll see if there's maybe nothing we can do here. Is there any th way we can draw more cards? Because I need an energy. I don't, don't think there's any way for me to draw more cards off this, so.
I still am really a little bit, I just don't know why. Unless Victini VMAX, no, he's weak. Oh, because I'm lightning, not water. Why? It's the stupid surfboard. <laughs> In all the water, it keeps making me think. I don't know why. <laughs> That's why. Because I played it like a donkey, thinking that they were weak to me because I'm a water deck, but I am not a water deck. I'm just using water energy on a lightning Pokemon. Okay, another one down. Another one down, and another one down, and another one bites the dust. Game three. Moving into game three. I almost, I'm just hanging my head in the shame of my foolishness of continually thinking that I was going to be hitting for weakness. It's because I'm a lightning... Ah, I did it again! Holy snot. Well, now at least they're weak to lightning. So we've got something going for us in this one. Even though my continued donkey play just just so foolish. Well, this is not going well. Missing the attachment really is kind of the death knell for this deck because now there's no way I get an attack off this next turn. Thankfully, at least I'm only taking 40 damage. Let's draw some cards here. So what do I want? I want an escape rope. I want some draw support now. I mean, and we'll put down uh, I better put down another Pikachu just to get it in warming up warming up whoo that's kind of as ugly a hand is I mean other than I've got I don't I'm doing nothing I'm do, I'm gonna hope that in their two card hand, that they exactly don't have that. But, as I don't even have any energy in the discard, so I can't do a Melanie play unless I were to draw into an energy that I can Ultra Ball away. 
If wishes were fishes. I'm a lightning deck. I am not a water deck. Well, we're going to get Marnied out of everything, which is okay. We don't have the greatest hand in the world. I would love to draw into water energy to discard with something and a Melanie. That, you know, is that too much to ask? Well, I've got the water energy. I can discard it, but I can't discard it with the, the research because then I can't play the Melanie. And does my so I don't really need the choice belt in terms of knocking out him because I'm going to do it with weakness because weakness does apply this time. Da da da. So I'm going to lose my Drizzile, which means I can't evolve to Inteleon, which means I really am going to end up being stuck using Research, most likely, this turn. So... I mean, I can attach for turn. We'll put that on there. Let's get a few sobbles out. There's nothing I really want to do this turn, right? There's nothing I want to do. I, I've got the Melanie in hand. I'd rather save the Drizzile in case I get Marnied. At least he'll be in the deck, and I, I can kind of knew that was coming, you know, not unexpected. I mean, so at least, at least he's going to have to two-shot me. I can take a response knockout, and if I can get another... Surfing Pikachu set up. I mean, I'd like to just draw into. Oh, I've got another Melanie, so that's fine. What are we going to look for? Telescopic Sight, because why not? Let's put an air balloon down somewhere. I don't know if he's playing healing, but let's see if maybe we take that option away. We'll scoop up net once. And again, I'm not going to do anything here. So we take a knockout, a big knockout, which is lovely. He's going to take a return knockout. We do have a Melanie. That's not going to, because we missed attaching for turn, that's not going to get us an attack off. But we're in an okay spot. Because if I can 
evolve him at least. He's not playing anything that can really do enough damage to me so I can tank a hit. I can't tank a hit. I mean, he was taking that knockout no matter what, but not wanting to put up his three prize, it makes perfect sense. So I get to attach. The question is, okay, so he can do 10 more damage uh, for each damage counter on me. That's not a lot. 30 plus 10 more for each damage counter. Uh, I don't think he can get more than like 40, so... That would mean he can do eight. Yeah, I don't think we're in too bad a spot right here. I'll get that in my hand for next turn. Nowhere does it really matter. Let's burn off a couple cards. Do again, so nothing. And I think that sets us up for next turn, If I, unless I'm missing something. I mean, I could get Marnie out of my hand, and that would put us in a we need things to happen. But I don't think there's any way, I mean, for him to... Take out my VMAX, so I, th I think we're in an okay spot here. Because I just don't think he's able to take multiple... I mean, he needs to take two knockouts this turn, and I don't know what spread in his deck he could be possibly playing. Wait. 20 damage to one of your... Yeah, only another 20. So what do we want to send up? Let's send up... That's fine. That's fine. And that's a well-played... We don't even have to boss you. So, because of weakness and a lucky pairing, we get a victory. I will take it. I will, I will, I will take it. Surfing Pikachu VMAX in the books, thankfully. Let's spin and see who our next VMAX is going to be. We've got our Wheel of Fortune here, the VMAX Challenge Selector Wheel. Let's see who our next VMAX that we're going to build the deck with will be. 
Blaziken. Blaziken. See, there are, there's some promise to Blaziken. And not sure how we'll build this deck, but that's who we're going with next. Blaziken VMAX. We're doing really well. I am surprised that currently we're at one loss. This was our 10th uh, deck that we've built. We're going into deck number 11. But our, with our 10th deck, that takes us to 9-1. That is a pretty good record. I'm really pleased. I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you are too. All three of you that are watching these videos, I appreciate each and every single one of you. I truly do. And thank you for being here. And remember, be happy, be safe, and be kind. I'll see you next time.